Hey guys, it's John Guzman from Dragonfly Computers, and today we're gonna revisit uh, my first video, which I recorded two years ago. It was the Shut Up 10 video, and the audio in it is so bad, I wanted to re-record it with uh, the Blue Yeti mic that I have now, but also, it's been two years, so let's, let's revisit uh, what happened with this app. So originally what this was, uh, was an app that you could download to shut off a lot of the kind of data collection uh, options that Windows 10 automatically comes with. So the best way to find it is just by typing <laughs> shut up 10, learn how to type 10, there we go. So you'll see it right here, it's O&O &O software, that's the, that's the one you want, and you can see there's a new version, we'll click it, oh look, what's this? So anyway, you go, you go here, and uh, it says simply download the new version, uh, you can click it right here, I already have it, so I'm not gonna download it again, but that's how you would download it. Uh, and what I'm gonna do now, I have it sitting on the desktop, and you can see this is the fourth iteration of it that I've downloaded. So here's the interesting thing. To run it, all you do is double click the exe file. You don't even have to install anything. Just click yes to user account control. And you can see that it says uh, O&O &O, Shut Up 10 has detected some changes made since the system, since the settings was last used. These are highlighted below, blah, 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 blah. You can accept the changes, revert the changes back to what they are, show changes only. So here's the deal. I do not run this tool every single time that I run Windows Update, and I don't run it every time I reboot. And you can see the amount of things. So I run the, um, uh, you, you go to Actions here. There's three versions you can run. There's Apply, Only Recommended, there's Recommended and Somewhat Recommended, and then there's the Nuclear Option, which is Apply All. I've never run that, and I've never told anybody to run that because it literally shuts off everything. Uh, I usually run this one in the middle. Um, sometimes I tell people only to run this one and I'll get into the reasons why in a minute. Um, but so let's just say anything with a check mark or a triangle should be, should be green. Green means it's shut off. Uh, so as we scroll down, we see uh, right here, this one has found its way back on. These two have found their way back on. All this stuff has found its way back on, except for the very bottom one. Scroll down here, all the telemetry, that's all your keystrokes being sent to Microsoft, like literally everything you type with your keyboard. Uh, I believe, you know, every Bing search. I'm, they probably collect your mouse movements too. I don't, I don't know that for a fact, but I, I don't know. I just, I know that that's what the telemetry is. And that was actually the reason for my first video. When I found that out, that was something that was introduced in Windows 8. Uh, so people started shutting off the service. So then they came back and they renamed the service in Windows 10 after one of the Windows 10 updates to kind of throw people off, or I'm sure they had their Microsoft reasons for doing it. But anyway, so these three right here are the main reason I run this tool. And they're part of the kind of like limited, like the, 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 the not, you know, just the, just the basic shuts those off. And yet, all right, so here they are. You know, this explains what they do. Um, Error reports, this one collects data, you know, all your installed programs, problems with Windows 10 error reports, blah, blah, blah. Collects all the data on your computer, blah, blah, blah. You know, so ostensibly they say it's for bug reporting and that they collect the data so that they can find out what programs are and aren't working on Windows 10. And in their defense, I will say that Windows 10 has probably become, it wasn't at first, but since since the beginning, uh, it's probably become a, the most stable release of Windows that I've seen. You know, Windows 7, I, Windows 8 was just a was just a, a, an abomination from right from the beginning. Windows 7, although it's a, a really good operating system, um, I mean, it actually comes end of life in a few days, but uh, it still had its fair share of problems. I, I, I can remember many. A, many a night and afternoon spent on sighted clients fixing problems from Windows 7 updates. I haven't seen as many with Windows 10. Of course, I'm not in the enterprise world anymore, so I'm sure there have been some, but I haven't, I haven't seen them as much. So I will give them credit there. It's relatively stable, and I'm sure that they are using some of this data to, um, you know, get the stuff more stable. Uh, I just don't like the idea that everything on my computer is being sent to Microsoft without, what you know, without me, really without it, People don't know about this, you know, unless you're really the um, curious type and you're out there looking for this kind of stuff, you would never know this exists. So anyway, that being said, let's keep going. So here's, again, these should be shut off. And all right, they are. So let's keep going down. Um, and uh, here's another one that found its way back on. 
Uh, here's another one that found its way back on. This is Windows updates. I want those. You know, those are mostly security updates, so I, I want those running. Keep going. Yeah, that Windows Defender I want on. And then here we go. These three also found their way back on. So that just shows you. I mean, that's probably 10 or 20 of these that should be disabled that aren't. So uh, we're going to go ahead and, you know, I'll just accept it and then we're going to run it from scratch. So let's go options. And th this is the one that I run, recommended and somewhat recommended. So we say, okay. It asks you if you want to create a restore point. You say yes. And then it creates a restore point. I have never had to revert to a restore point. I've run this, I mean, I don't know if I've run it, let's say, a full hundred times, but I mean, it's probably approaching that. I've put this on so many computers and I've run it dozens and dozens of times. I've never had to revert to um, a restore point up to this point. So now you can see that pretty much everything, bar just a couple, there's a couple of reds, which are like, you know, Windows updates I still want running. Uh, OneDrive is that not, I actually want that disabled. Uh, but this is what I will caution people. If you use OneDrive, if your clients use OneDrive uh, and you're running this on client machines, make sure these are, put them back to red, put them back to red because uh, I have had clients come back to me and say, oh, OneDrive's not working, and that's why. So that will fix it if you flip this back, but it's something to know about. Uh, and the other thing that I'll mention is that uh, on my old video, my old two-year-old video, uh, somebody that just subscribed uh, ran the tool and then came back and said that his biometric features, you know, he was putting his fingerprint in and it was still asking him for a pin and it shouldn't have been doing that. Uh, so I went to the privacy uh, setting um, and the, the biometrical features disabled that I had him re-enable that. That didn't fix the issue. He had to go back and run the tool and put it on apply only recommended settings. So that fixed the issue for him. So obviously, you know, you can see the difference between the recommended and the recommended and somewhat recommended is between the difference between the triangle and the, and the so, so, you know, you could go through and play with every single one of these and figure out which one it is, but if, unless you have the time to do it, I don't use biometrics on this machine, so uh, it doesn't affect me, but it's something to be aware of. So those are a couple of things, a couple of the downsides of this program is that you might have it screw up your biometrics and you might have it screw up OneDrive. I don't use either, so I don't care, um, but it, it's something to know. You just, you're going to have to... Um, run this tool after every round of Windows Update, and it might even be after every reboot. Um, we can test that right now. So why don't I go ahead and uh, kill the video, reboot, come back, and rerun the tool, and uh, we'll see what we get. So I'm gonna do that right now. Hey guys, we're back. So uh, one thing that did happen when I ran all of these settings was that it did uh, disable the microphone access again, so I had to fiddle with that for a minute. I have a whole nother video on how to fix that. It takes two seconds, so I'll just link that up here. Uh, but other than that, I haven't done anything. So we'll see what has changed. All I did was reboot, and then I fixed the issue with the microphone. Uh, so we're gonna relaunch, shut up 10, and we're gonna see what happened. Uh, okay, so there's the microphone thing. So that, I, I personally have to leave that um, unchecked because I need the microphone all the time. Um, telemetry just always comes back. So even just a simple reboot is gonna bring this back. I don't think there's any way to permanently shut that off. So just know you're, you're not gonna, you're not gonna win this battle. That, that's gonna come, that's gonna, unless you're gonna turn it off every single time you boot up your machine. Um, I'll turn it off. But I'm sure every time I reboot, it's gonna it's gonna come back on. New Windows updates, and that's it. So there you go. Um, we're just gonna X out of this. Say yes. We're not gonna restart Windows. So it's kind of funny. They tell you to restart Windows after you make the changes, and then you restart Windows, and that telemetry pops back on. So. Um, everything is, everything's a compromise. Everything is what it comes down to is, you know, what are you willing to give up? And, you know, there's always push pull and all the rest of it. But I just wanted to make a video kind of revisiting this piece of software two years later to sort of see what it, what it does and doesn't do at this point, uh, what its limitations are, what its, what its, you know, do's and don'ts are, what its pitfalls are, just so you're aware of all that stuff. When I made my video two years ago, I, I really wasn't like planning on starting a channel or anything. It was just one of those random videos that I, I, I just made because I thought it was a cool tool and I wanted to let people know about it. 
Um, but now that I've had it out in the wild and I've uh, fought with it a little bit and I've, I've sort of seen what it, you know, what, it, what its limitations are and that kind of stuff, I just wanted to go back and I also just wanted to re-record it because the audio in that other video is so bad. So anyway, that being said, that's the tool. There's Shut Up 10 in 2018. I think still a cool tool, still gives you some modicum of privacy back, but not perfect, but nothing is. So um, check out my other videos. Uh, let me know what else you might want to uh, hear about. And um, thank you for watching, and I hope you like and subscribe.